Who are you exactly? <laughs> Um, but then why don't they call winter cold? That is very like lovely that. with, you know, a sliced roast on it with veggies around and mm. Hi people, we are uh, on the road again. Right now we're just headed to our local Starbucks drive through which luckily is around the corner. Uh, to get a coffee and then we're going to hit the road. We're going up state again. This is uh, again up the Hudson River, so not too far away, but it's about almost two hours drive. And uh, we are, um, yeah, picking up some stuff that we won at an auction. Um, and these things are, uh, yeah, nice vintage pieces. Some Masha will keep because they're just really lovely. Um, and then the others we're going to sell. Oh, and look, the drive through is closed. I wonder why. It's a renovation, look at that. Okay. Okay, well. Well, we'll just go through here and we'll drive in, sorry, walk in and pick it up. Oh, the whole store is shut. Oh, yeah, the whole store is shut. Oh, okay. There's a stretch of road up here which is called the Palisades Interstate Parkway, a highway that takes us from the northern, northeastern corner of New Jersey up into the uh, bottom part of New York and um, it's just such a lovely drive it's never crazy busy um, it's dual lane all the way so yeah quick change of plan um, we had to pull in to get gas anyway and I just realized that the gas station has a Dunkin Donuts um, depot inside so we're gonna go in and just get our Dunkin coffee this morning instead of Starbucks and then hit the road So yeah, um, real good news is that um, the gas that we use, which is regular, um, which I guess would be uh, you know unleaded in Europe and Australia, um, is down to three dollars sixty-seven from almost five dollars a gallon. So uh, that's that's a huge plus. And uh, while it's tempting to get a donut, um, gonna have Masha any? made some um, fresh made muffins and we got them in the car. So we're going to have Masha muffins and Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> oh, Dunkin' Coffee. I'm going to get a large macchiato because I nice. discovered the other day that it has two shots. So I don't have to order a, a latte with an extra shot. I just get a macchiato which already has two. <laughs> can buy Bitcoin here. So we've been told to go in the second entrance here and then we're driving around. Oh, there you go. Is that someone's house? Or? Up, yeah, that looks like a lovely house. Oh, I'd like a house like this. Yeah. And this area looks lovely. Look, they've got oh, lovely ground. And so she said to loop around, which is what we're doing. Gives everybody space. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's go have a look, huh? Oh, I'm so excited. I got wooden boxes, some old... Uh, printed wooden boxes. Masha's got some lovely um, crockery. Mm, let's go. Spoud and Limoges. And Willow. And Willow. Yeah. Yay. I forgot to turn the car off. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Gorgeous. Some of the stuff. Ooh, that's, that's pretty. gorgeous. That's willow. It's China. Oh. No, that's China. The plates are willow, I believe. Or one of them. This is a lovely pot for the balcony. Yeah, well, I'm thinking, yeah, either for the balcony or inside, or inside you can put some herbs or even use it for 
like flowers. So, this one is willow. Yeah. And this one is unbranded. Mm -hmm. So, like this, and if you look, they're almost the, identical. It's the identical design, but you can see that. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so the same design, but this one's just larger and, and without the branding on the back, my guess is that this is a copy that someone has made of this, which is a, a willow. Oh. These are really nice. Oh, look, there you go. <laughs> These three, although they appear to be all separate pieces and, and slightly different, are actually the same design. Mm. So this one's a lot lighter. This is the um, dark copy that's unbranded. That's the willow. But on the back of this, this... So this says... Um, what does that say? Twigs. And then this is the original spode. Now look. Ooh, that's a lovely Yeah, spode. you could just see the difference. You know, the design's all the way at the end. It's even got a lovely gloss on there. And this yeah. is the spode. Italian I think it's a more sort of modern one, a modern version, modern? a much more modern version of, yeah. And these this? are older. But yeah, it's spode. That is going I to love that. lovely with, you know, a sliced roast on it with veggies around and ooh. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Okay, so we're currently um, up the Hudson in a little town called Clinton Corner and it is uh, on the east side of the Hudson. The Hudson sort of goes north to south. So we're on the east side of the Hudson at the moment in New York State. We're now going to go to a town called Montgomery, which is on the west side. So we're, uh, it's probably about half an hour's drive from here. And that's where we're going to pick up the wooden crates. I thought the crates were here, but I realized this was the crockery. The wooden crates are coming from Montgomery and then we'll head on. Um, How much was the badge we just picked up? 50 bucks for all of it. Okay. It was more than I was hoping to pay, but... It's an auction. Uh, I guess other people, yeah, at auction. Um, I guess other people saw the value in it as well and they wanted it as much as we did. And especially with these things, um, paying a little bit more is okay because this isn't something they have to try and get the money back for. This was always something I was buying from Masha. So yeah, on our way to the, uh, the next pickup site, we found this little farm store and uh, we always love going in to see what they have, pick up some fresh produce and I was just thinking that we're actually out of honey that we got the last little trip that we're on so we can get some um, local honey from here but also some sweet corn some apples yeah. maple syrup garlic eggs all from packet farm supply yeah store. and look at these beautiful flowers oh, it's an old farm store i want to try some um, of this cheese it looks really nice it's um, black olive roasted red pepper and cheddar cheese. Nice. Mm. Uh, but we need honey, so I've got to find the honey. Oh, look at all the lo lovely sausages. I love locally made sausages. They're always so interesting and different. Happy? Oh yeah, got a good little stash. Got oh. some honey, got some apple, got some cheese, and we've got some... Lemon, lemon curd. curd. All local, all local produce from this area. Well, this is my favorite time of the year when all the leaves are changing colors and you can see green, still a lot of green, yellow, red and this is probably the best area to see the what they call foliage and um, this transition from summer to autumn uh, or fall as they call it in the US and then to winter. Yeah, just, just hearing Masha talk about it, it made me wonder, um, I wonder why of all of the four seasons, why they decide to change the name of autumn in, in this country. So obviously they call it fall, and it's clear that they call it fall because it's the season when the leaves fall off the trees, readiness for winter. Um, but then why don't they call winter cold, or summer hot, and spring new, whatever. So it's summer, spring, winter, fall. It has been raining, a little bit just a drizzle, not too 
much and from time to time as we drive through different towns and different little villages you can see a bit of um, kind of a rolling fog on the ground and the grass and again it reminds me of England Hi. Pick up some, uh, some old wooden crates and a little Amish. This whole lot? Yes. Is that what you so got? You go, there's your, these are your locks. Yeah. These are your little Amish people. Amish people. Cool. Your soda crates are here. <laughs> this one's going to become a piece of furniture. And look. Fargo. Fargo, nice. yeah. Just like the TV show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So these are our um, latest um, acquisitions and these are such cute little pieces. It's a family of Amish and um, yeah, they're die cast and very nicely painted. This one appears to be the odd one out being a single Amish person. It's also actually screwed down to the bench and uh, it looks like it's designed to either stand up on something or you can even hang it on the wall but the other two sets are actually salt and pepper shakers so as you can see there's the little corks in the underneath side of them um, and I was looking at the top where are the holes and of course they've got the holes I don't know if you can see them but they're high up in their backs yeah and interesting I, there's one and one usually you've got um uh, one for salt and several for pepper. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So um, I guess that kind of leads it up to debate as to whether the male becomes a salty one and the wife is peppery or vice versa. I know, one wife it can be quite peppery. So yeah, here we are at the end of another um, episode. And uh, as usual, if you like what we're doing, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, um, and we hope you'll come back for more. We usually don't appear together in any of the shots because mm. it's either me filming you or you filming me. Most of the time, it's me filming me mm. with a selfie. This is uh, this is the first time both of us are in in the shot. This is kind of cool, I think. <laughs> I was just um, I was just wondering, who are you exactly? <laughs> Um, I'm your cameraman. Um, and of course, just a final word to add, this um, this week was a very sad week for everybody um, uh, across the globe. Many people mourning the passing of um, Queen Elizabeth, um, the only queen that most of us in our lifetimes have ever known. And um, yeah, um, it's just sad. I've never considered myself a monarchist, but um, she meant a lot. You know, she meant a lot to a lot of people and even to people who didn't, you know, didn't really even know what the royal family was all about or what, what the point of it was. We felt it was necessary to say a few words about the Queen and our gratitude and our thanks to everything that she has done. She has dedicated her life to serving her people and she will be greatly missed. God save the Queen and long live the king.